here to help you give the tools to do just that is small business expert Nellie Acalp. On set for the first time, Nellie Acalp, CEO of CorpNet. Got Nellie Acalp with me. Yeah. Small business advocate Nellie Acalp. Nellie Acalp is joining us. Is small business expert Nellie Acalp. Thank you, Colby. It's great to be here. Hi, world. I'm really excited. Kids, four of them. <laughs> Ranges <laughs> two to 12. Yes. Wow, that's a job in and of itself. If you want your company to succeed and grow and get the brand recognition that you want, you've got to engage with people. You've got to network yourself. You've got to get out there. And you have got to establish yourself as an expert in this field. Choosing whether to be an S corporation or LLC or C corporation or sole proprietorship can have a significant impact on the way you file your taxes and how much you pay in taxes. I've been in this industry for, oh my God, over 13, 15 years. 2015 is going to be a great year yeah. for small business owners. The economy is headed in the right direction. Uh -huh. It happened in 2015. 14, I was here last year, yeah. last year talking about quitting, you know, your day job and starting right. your own business. We under promise and we over deliver. And in this day and age, that's what people want. Should I incorporate in Delaware? Should I incorporate in Nevada? Or should I incorporate in the state that I'm conducting my business in? By using that name, you start earning rights to that name and that name becomes an asset. If you make the impossible your reality, it will become your reality. It will become your reality. You can deduct a portion of your rent, your mortgage, your insurance costs, your utilities as a home office deduction. Review your ad budget if you're you know, advertising mm -hmm. and consider no cost alternatives. Get social. I was about to say social <laughs> media can play a big part in that, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. It's all about relationships and reputation in my opinion.